Today's advanced move is called the extended butterfly and I want you to make sure that you're comfortable in your regular butterfly before you achieve this. Um, it's really important that you feel comfortable with a lot of weight going into your bottom arm because that's what's going to happen. You're not going to have that top leg anymore um, to really give you that extra grip. You're going to be holding on with just the edge of your ankle here, okay, and you've got your hands, your arms, and your upper body and your core are going to be giving you your support. All your weight is driving into that bottom hand, so make sure that you feel pretty comfortable in that position. Okay, so if you're fine with your um, butterfly, this is what your extended butterfly looks like, and I'm going to show you different ways to go into it, but just to demonstrate what it looks like, here's your extended butterfly. So the first way we're going to learn how to go into it is from your Gemini. And what I want you to try and do is go into a modified Gemini where you're not hooking really tightly behind the knee. You want to have it behind your calf. So you have like a 90 degree angle with your, in your Gemini with that leg. The easiest way to go into it is from your basic inversion. So you're going to go into your basic inversion. You've got that calf already on the pole. You're going to bring your inside arm down, turn, and go into your butterfly with your calf on the pole. This makes it easier to simply push away and reach out with your leg. So you go from here, and it's like a push, just a push up away from the pole, and drawing away with that toe, with your outside toe, and just push away into your extension. You can pull it back in, and you can swing to a Scorpio to come out, and release. So that's one way to go into your extended butterfly. Now, where some people have trouble with this is once they're in the butterfly with their calf on the pole and they try to extend out, they start to swing back up to the right again and feel off balance. It's really important that when you're in your position upside down, that what you're doing, okay, is just simply pushing further away from the pole and letting, imagine someone is pulling your extended leg straight out and you just allow yourself to lengthen that leg. You're going to slightly turn in with that foot that's hooked because you still want to maintain contact with the back of the ankle. So try not to let the leg turn this way because you'll feel like it's going to slip off. So that again is your outside leg that hooked. Now another way you can go into your extended butterfly is to kick up into it. And what you're going to do is use your outside hand, so for me that's the right hand, which I'm going to have on eye level, and my left hand, as I kick up, is going to slide as low down to the ground as I can go. What I want to do is end up with my arms, just like they do in a butterfly, perfectly straight, with the support in the bottom hand. I don't want to leave it here, because when I kick up, my elbow will buckle and I will lose my support. So my hand actually, or my lower hand, doesn't lock into place until I have kicked up and slid down. So again, this is what it looks like. My hand is eye level. This hand is going to guide down as I step off on my inside foot, across the pole, kick up and hook. I'm going to look up and hook my right leg and my outside leg up onto the pole, push away. Nice and straight, extending straight out. Okay, you can pull in and swing into your Scorpio to come out. Okay, and then you can slide up in a helicopter and down. So that's your second way to go into your extended butterfly. Another way you can go into your extended butterfly is to go just from um, your basic invert. Okay, you're going to kick up. And as soon as you bring it down, instead of going into that modification, you're going to simply extend straight out into it. Okay? And then you can wrap back up into your basic invert if you like and roll out. And that's her extended butterfly.